On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Friday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning, my peeps. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life. Because life is indeed the greatest. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So wherever you are right you now, whatever you're doing, we want to just stop and just give God thanks life this morning here. whether you're on the public transportation to work you're in a taxi you're in a, your private motor vehicle you reach your work already sitting around your desk or you're just in bed relaxing getting yourself together if you go take on the streets in the struggles yeah man we we'll just have to give ja thanks and praise for life you know what's saying in the morning i'm sit down and me a pray when time i dip on the eastern side of the island and you yeah, look upon the sun arise. When you are on the western side of the island. And you yeah, look upon the magnificent sunset. Trust me, peeps. I wonder if we don't know so we have it made for ourselves in this beautiful island of Jamaica. How much place we can go in the world and see God's glory on display like how it is on display in our island home, Jamaica. We really need to start to check ourselves and start to appreciate these smaller things are so-called smaller things in life. We really need to start to appreciate what we have and stop destroying it. So now the morning, you know, my peeps, as you can see on your screen, we are traversed through the Kingston Western Police Division. We're in the Arnett Gardens era, jungle area. Yeah, man, may I tell you, whole heap of knockings and clappings go on up there recently. We are talking about dung pan a liquor ends what them call Benbow Street. As you can see, we are past the Admiral Town Police Station. So Benbow Street at the next right turn. We are going to see. Pan your right. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So Benbow Street are going with a bag of things from what they are. Right here, so. Benbow Street entrance that. So Benbow Street are going with a bag of things from what they are. In fact, two men. Lose them three pints, courtesy of the old dirty corner boy them in recent days. When time is saying recent days, me I talk about night before last night. The man them dash with two round there quick and fast. Yeah man. So on your screen is a long time brother. This brother had about for quite some time I know. He is known in the streets as Dan Dan. Now, Dan Dan is a grown man because, as I say, Dan Dan debuted for quite some time, you know. He debuted from in the days of the infamous Joe Benbow, Joseph Barrett, a.k.a. Joe Benbow. The man who used to rule the Benbow Street gang with the iron fist. He was taken out by the police some years ago, right out there up on the Port Royal main road stretch there so. Anyway, Dan Dan survived all of that. Take away himself in and out of the place over the years. But this time I know, Dan Dan decides say, he might come back into the place. Come run the ground. But what Dan Dan not really understand you know, is that them set a young youth here yeah, are some different set a young youth from back in the days when time him and Joe Benbow them used to step in the street. Them young youth are not take no talk from the elder. Them young youth here got plant bacon in your stomach. Cause them young youth here fearless. Because as the great PJ Patterson did say, no, the law is definitely not a shackle. So it is dear to be broken. Yeah man. And them young youth here are definitely take advantage of that. And until the law becomes a shackle or until the law becomes so stringent where it is a deterrent for crime, this present situation that we are experiencing will not stop. So I could get into the meat of the matter right now. I could give you the police report. I could give you it from the police standpoint. And then of course we have a whole of reasoning about what really go on around the Benbow Street space there. So the police report states that on Wednesday, February 9th, 
2022 about 10 p.m. at the intersection of Nelson Street and Benbow Street, Kingston 12. Two men get slapped away. Deceased number one is Robert McCray, otherwise known as Bull, age 49 years old, born in 1972. Claim the same is a shoemaker from 10 miles, Golden Spring, St. Andrew. You see how far this brother I come from, come down to the Benbow, come get him life. Snatch it. Yeah, man, may I tell you. Deceased number two, his name is Joseph Taylor, otherwise called Dutchman. Age 44, unemployed and come from Brandon Hill in St. Andrew. Yeah, man. So you know say, this thing is really serious. You see how far them man I come from. So it is also alleged that a dandan bring them two man there in the place to come all ends. Yeah, man, because as I say, dandan say I come back in the place and now come run the ground. So what really go on is that the whole of them stand up right on the corner, right at Benbow Street and Nelson Street corner, that's so. And then two men just walk up and a lone can to them skin because you don't know so them young youth here nah, not take no chat from the so-called elder. So when the man them roll up and start squeezing out, the man them make sure so them put one in a bull at the same time. Here yeah, man, may I tell you, the whole of bull jelly, plash out, whoop up. The man them deal with bull head tapper, who you may tell you, a close casket type of treatment that man. Then of course the man them would have turned on them brutal and slap. Pan the one of them called Dutchman. The man them slap up Dutchman in him head, in him chest, in him thigh, in him shoulder. Holy pakan, Dutchman get all bout. Yeah man, left the two of them down there, lifeless. Yeah man, may I tell you. When time the police them arrived upon the scene, it was way too late. But you don't know, say the police them have to follow protocol because one little one, you know, they might see something like one little one gap. So the police them throw them in the back of the jeep and carry them go to the hospital, go throw them down. And of course, upon arrival, the doctor pronounced them, you know what? <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. So I could go back upon the streets right and now I make you know what really I go on around at the Benbow there. So as you know, Benbow kind of in a one little topsy turvy type of way right and now. No sort of harder than really the in the gangster side of things round there. Because presently the youth of them called drive by is locked up at the Denham Town police station. Furthermore, drive by boy me I tell you. We get to understand said the man then give a fine piece of whopping down at the jail the boy. Turn your back in a one little boy boy. Right now drive by badness shrivel down me I tell you. Yeah, man, the man then deal with drive-by ragged in the jail cell there. So as I say, my peeps, Dan Dan bring some of Joe Benbow old-time soldiers them back in the place. Claim to say them have come all off the ground. We are talking about youth like Dean that was accused back in the day for slap with a one woman. We are talking about youth like Fitzroy. We are talking about a youth of them accused back in the days for clap with a little one. Yeah, man, we are talking about a little toddler. We are talking about a youth like Craigy D. Yeah, man, we are talking about them man there too. We also get accused for slap with a female. So them man there, you don't know, I don't want to set a man where the younger youth them really want to sit around them. So the man them decides, yo, you don't have to left. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So after Dutchman and the one of them called Bull get dash away Wednesday night, you know. Dan Dan lift up same time because Dan Dan she say yo the thing I get real serious over the Ben there. Yeah man, so we get to understand say he's presently in the Morant Bay space. So officers out there in the St. Thomas Police Division who no need to be on the lookout for this old dirty corner boy here, with them call Dan Dan. Furthermore, I out them there for the longest while. Anytime him want to cool out and at the St. Thomas space, him go decide for cool out. So I'm definitely on the run right now. Not necessarily from the police, but from other gangsters in the Morant Bay police space. And he is to be considered armed and dangerous. Because we don't know how Dan Dan used to roll back in the days when Joe Benbo did alive. He never ever left it. So I don't feel like say, things change where the part of Dan Dan modus the concern. Yeah man, may I tell you. So St. Thomas Police be on the lookout for the old dirty corner boy with them call Dan Dan. So watch this now my peeps. On your screen is a known violence producer. A known violence 
influencer. A real old dirty corner boy where I trod the street hard. Responsible for a whole heap of knockings and clappings. He's known as Big Dip in the street. So on the same night, we are talking about Wednesday night when Bull and Dutchman get clapped away. Here, yeah, man, right on Elsie Street and Benbow Street, they saw. The police, them a patrol and wall and pan biggie dip. But guess what happened now, my peeps? It seems as if the police, them a wall and pan him, never really know him like that. Because, in a my view, you know, if I did some police wall and pan him, when know him like that. He would not be here today. Yeah, man. He would be amongst the land of the you know what. Yeah, man. Police would have slapped him, man. Quick and fast. Because this brother here committed a whole lot of acts of atrocities. This brother here is one of the main crime producers that is affecting a certain space in the Admiral Town Police Division. We are talking about them youth that trod the street at Craig Town. Them youth that trod the street of Jonestown. We are talking about Benbow Street. We are talking about over Tarrington Park. Yeah, man, we are talking about around a hopeful village, Benbow Street. All about in a that space, the top jungle. All about them youth that commit acts of atrocities. That youth here are one cruel and heartless youth. And me I tell you, say, Ja was definitely standing by him side, as your Tony Rebel say. Because if I did certain police hold your big dip, me know, say, you're not there so today. Yeah, man. So my peeps, pan the ground, big dip, get walk out instead of chalk out. So I'm there at jail, right? And now we just hope, so the officers them put them thing together properly. Yeah, man. And make sure to them charge him for at least one. A hall of the atrocities them when commit and see if them can get some credible witness to for put him away for a mighty long time. But if you wish for do otherwise, you can just release him and I left the rest of that to the imagination of members of John Public. Yeah man, me I tell you. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as we continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah man.